Hello, my name is Cinda Brock and I'm the founder and trainer for Champions Equestrian. Today what we're going to be working on is how do I measure a trot pole that leads into jumping into a fence and cantering away. You're going to learn how to walk the steps in between and measure it with a tape measure, as well as learning the distances and how a horse goes over a pole when they trot into a fence. What we have set up is we're going to start with a cross rail. And so when you're looking at our jump, the way we have it set up, especially if you have a horse that's new to jumping fences, you want to make sure that you have your cross rail set up and appropriate the height in the middle of the jump is between about 18 inches and two foot. And so when you stand next to it, it comes just below my knee, right about the higher side of the calf muscle. Knowing these horses and knowing the type of level and work that they've done, this is an appropriate fence for them. The other thing that you're looking at is you wanna make sure that you have a base pole in front of your fence. When you're teaching a horse where to leave from a jump, you want this pole just at the edge of the standard of the jump. So when you look at the side of the wing of the jump and you look at the pole, it is an alignment and it's away from the fence. And so you're gonna see different base poles. You'll go to some jumps and you'll see that the pole is already rolled in all the way. You're gonna to go to some fences and it's about four or five inches away. When we're teaching a horse how to jump from the base of a pole, we're gonna connect it. It'll be about six to eight inches from the center of the fence. And so a good way to map that is that I'm putting it at the edge of my standard. Now what we need to do is we need to establish our trot pole. And so when I'm walking a trot pole distance, what I mean by that is a horse takes two steps in one one revolution of a trot stride. And so when I'm working my system between the space of the jump and the base pole, I'm gonna make sure and set out a tape measure. I set it on the ground to know exactly how wide is my step that I'm taking? Knowing my step and how I step over fences, I know that one big step of mine is three feet. And that's what it measures whenever I look down at my tape measure. Another step is six feet. When you're talking about a basic trot step, about a horse that's a medium-sized horse, not a pony, not a warm blood, so we're working with quarter horses or Arabians, then we're gonna make sure and add that extra foot. So I'm seven feet from the base of my pole, and we're gonna test it. So I know I have to take one, two, and a quarter to make a trot-in jump where the horse steps over the pole and takes two steps and goes over the jump. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run two horses through this exercise, and then by doing so, you're gonna see if we have the base pole set correct away from the fence and if we have the trot pole set away from the fence enough as well. We're looking for a working trot pace. And so one thing that you have to establish going into a trot fence is not that you're operating too slow or too fast. You have to be at a working trot pace. And the way you establish that is you're working on your flat work before and prior to the fence. We're already warmed up and we're ready for our fence. When you watch Sweet Pea go into the jump, She's trotting straight through the middle. She should take two steps, good, and then jump. Now, when you watched her, what you saw is that you saw her take a little bit of a short step leading up to the jump. We're gonna send Zoe and Court through, and what we're gonna watch is we're gonna watch what is the distance. Are we getting two equal even steps after the horse goes over the trot pole before they jump to the jump. When we watched Sweet Pea going through it the first time, it was a little bit short, okay? So our seven foot distance from the base pole to the trot pole was a little bit short. We're gonna watch Court, okay? And it was a little short for him as well. So what we're gonna do now, knowing my footfall is a three foot step, here's six feet, here's seven feet. I'm gonna go half of my step, which is eight feet, okay? So it's important to find the measurement, all right? It's important to know one, two, and a half is eight feet for me, okay? So Mac, if you go ahead and trot down the rail, what you're gonna do is now we're gonna test. We made our distance from our base pole to our trot pole further apart, specifically for this horse. And we may have to change it depending on what horse goes through that. She's at a working trot pace. As she lines herself up for her jump, she should get two even clear steps, one stride, before the horse jumps the jump. Very good. Well done. And she's cantering away on a straight line as well. Very good. Okay, Court. So it's a little bit more of a working trot speed. There, good boy. We'll make sure that the distance is set appropriately for him as well. <laughs> and so Court, what you found when he trotted into the fence is that he was a little bit more underpaced than Sweet Pea was. And what you noticed is that distance from the base pole to the trot pole was just a little bit further for him. And so she, when she asked him to trot and get over the jump, what you saw was a little bit of a longer step on that last step that she took. And then when he trotted over the fence, he then didn't canter away from the jump. And so we're gonna work on Court's departure. 
Anytime you trot into a jump, you want the horse to canter away from the fence. Part of this exercise is building up the horse's hind end to get them to understand when they push off, they take one step, a second step, and then they push off and rock back and go over the jump. It does take a lot of leg, depending on the level of the horse that you're riding. These ladies have practiced quite a bit of fences and fence work and course work. And so when you're watching them, they're doing a really great job of keeping their horse straight and committed to the fence and making those two equal trot jumps as they approach the jump. And then they're closing their leg and cantering away from the fence.